Okay, now that we have our leader styles created in our template, now we need to take a look at how to use these leaders. So we're going to take a look at how to create leaders. And so specifically on this drawing, it's going to be this leader that's pointing to a surface. So it's pointing on the face. And so we use a dot whenever we're attaching a leader to a, a face or a surface. And so it's going to be this thread callout as well as this callout that we're using for chamfer. Since we don't have a specific dimension command to call out chamfers or to call out threads, then we're just going to use notes. We're going to use leaders to do that. So first thing to do is go ahead and take a couple minutes and draw up this figure. This is actually figure 10-125 out of your textbooks. It's on page 414 if you want to look at it. Otherwise, just go ahead and take a minute and draw it per these dimensions that I have on here. Okay, so hopefully you have it drawn by now. And now we're going to take a look at how I went about creating these leaders. So I'm going to get rid of my dimensions just so that there's less on here. Okay, so the first one there is our chamfer. Okay, so for it, I'm going to come up to the annotation tab and make sure that I have the correct style set current. And so for my multi-leader style, I want to use the SATC associative arrow. So set that to be current and then just click right on leader and then follow your commands. And so you'll notice with leaders, either you can draw the landing first, the arrowhead first, or the content first. And so here I'm just going to show you by clicking on the object. So drawing the arrowhead first. So I'm going to click a point there. And then I come on out and I click one more point to place my leader. And now I can type my text in. So that's 0 0.06 by 45. And then to make the degree symbol, it's percent percent D is in dog. And then chamfer. And then I just click a point outside of that text to finish creating my multi-leader. Okay, so that's the first one. And now for this other one, I need to switch to my other style. So I come back up to annotation and I come down and I want SATC associative surface. Click on leader again. And then this time, let's say I want to do my content first. So I come down to the command line, I click on content. And so the first thing is going to be to draw a text box to create my text. And so this is going to be 0.62, which is the size, it's 5 8 inch diameter, by 10 threads per inch. It's unified national coarse thread. And the fit type is a 2A. And then just put thread. Okay. I click outside of there. And now my leader, my arrowhead, is floating around on the end of my cursor. So now I can attach it to that surface. Okay, so then the third option with leaders, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my arrow style. Click on leader, and I'm going to create a leader for this little undercut, this little uh, notch that's cut down out of this part. So for it, I'm going to do leader landing first. So go ahead and click on leader landing. And so now this time, I'm going to click a point for where I want the landing to be. And then I'll click another point for attaching my arrow. And now I'm ready to create the note for my undercut, which is this happens to be a 0 0.06 by 0 0.06 undercut. Click a point outside of that, and my leader is created. And then it's just a matter of moving it around till I can get it in the best location that works for the part that I'm dealing with. So that's how to create leaders and once we get them created we edit them just like almost any other object in AutoCAD we can just click on the leader itself and then use grips to move it around resize it adjust the location and so forth so that's creating leaders in AutoCAD using the multi-leader command the other command and really the one that I, I default to the most is just the quick leader just by typing in LE and then with this one you just go ahead and you set your settings So you fill in your settings here, and then it's the same process. With this one, you'll pick a point for your arrowhead first, pull it out of there, 
click one point and then you'll click another point hit enter to specify that you're going to make multi-line text and then we can start typing our first line of text and I'm just going to type that this is 0 0.50 thick hit enter twice and so you can use either one of those two commands they work uh, pretty similar so you use the multi-line the multi-leader right here or you can use the quick leader command which is just by typing in LE